Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you video regarding how sorting and layout is done using Topcon Total Station. Uh, top, this is Topcon ES series Total Station. You can see this is ES65 model. Uh, it's also called as Top Basic. Uh, it has got, you can see this is vertical screw and this is slow motion screw. This is horizontal tangential screw and slow motion. Uh, here is an adapter for battery. Okay, here is uh, port for data downloading. This is optical plummet, and here is measuring key. This is shortcut key. And for data download, there is an USB option as well. You can see it. Uh, this has got single display. Okay, now let's power on the device. Okay, you can see the logo of top corner. Okay, now for the first you will see the bubble since there is no any plate bubble on upper side only circular bubble is present on lower base plate uh, we need to adjust it uh, going to this electronic bubble you can see the value of xy uh, try to make it as minimum as possible uh, many the okay now you can see the display of vertical and horizontal angle uh, okay now there is zero set option uh, this will set angle horizontal angle as zero degree since i am doing it on concrete surface uh, my tripod is not stable so the angle is fluctuate, fluctuating a bit okay okay this is okay now uh, world option is for holding the <coughs> horizontal angle you can see the angle is being molded okay so press s now the add set is for setting horizontal to uh, certain required degree let me keep it as 60 degree now you can see my horizontal angle is set as 60 degree okay now going to next page you can see tilt option okay you can go from here okay there are other option as well you can use it as per your requirement bs is for bag space and this sft is for changing reflector mode as well okay you can see prism non prism and seat option now this is for illumination during dark time you can see the light glowing on keypad and star key is for shortcut you can see this is for uh, contrast this is for reticle illumination you can go to tilt directly from here this is for um, powering on laser light okay you can see the laser target is power on if i press it again okay now light is off now this is for setting uh, environment condition okay let it be okay this is the basic phase now uh, for going to coordinate you can see there is uh, on the option for directly there is a coordinate option okay distance option is uh, on uh, keypad number one you can see the distance if i press it it will go to distance mode you can see horizontal distance vertical distance if i press measure it will automatically measure i am measuring through non prism option now you can see slope distance is also shown if you go to angle again the device will get back to normal angle mode okay going to coordinate page it shows the data previously uh, set up coordinate okay now let's go to menu uh, now there are three options on this phase one okay if i go to first f1 you can see there are variety of option okay we can create a new job here as well okay under setting you can edit and uh, set parameter as per your requirement okay i'm leaving it as it is now for setting up a station and going to coordinate mode i'll i'll go to data collect okay okay this is the file name test is previously created file no so i'll go to edit and it is that and create a new file okay i'll go to alpha and uh, keep my file name as nepal
okay now i'll that bs will uh, back space or delete the last letter okay i'll go to i'll keep it as nepal and press enter my job is set now uh, it's going to next process of setting station i'll go to occupied station and put uh, details of the particular station i'll keep it as point number one and id as station stn okay now instrument id let me keep it as 1.45 and press enter uh, this is the last uh, recorded value i'll go to oc and z and i'll edit the data okay let me keep it as it is okay i'll set it and i'll record this data okay yes okay now it's getting back to previous page now i'll go to back side and i get insert back side point number let me keep it as point number two okay now point code for this i'll keep it as bm okay now r it is for reflect right i'll keep it as 1.1 1.30 meter and if you go through angle you can directly uh, turn to the north side and set zero else you can go to if you know the coordinate go through bs and go to bs and then input coordinate on back side okay my device is targeted to back side and press measure okay now it will measure my backside value you can see it's measuring okay if this data um, comes in tolerance with your backside data you can press s uh, otherwise you just escape escape back or click no and then again set your value and enter it okay this is okay for me so i'll go to s okay now my backside is completed now i'll go for backside f3 okay now i'll uh, start my point uh, survey with point number three it will increase by one number i'll keep it as p code it can be contour a uh, wall tree pole anything okay i'll keep it as pole i'm measuring the okay you can see my details is shown and is it is shown okay i'll record it now my point number is automatically increased by one number i'll target to next next point okay okay i'll measure and is it coordinate it's measuring okay now this is my required coordinate of that point point Again, I'll target to another point. Now this is my point number five. Okay, now I'll change this point number code. I'll keep it as uh, wall. Okay, now let me clear it and keep it as type it as wall. I'll go to alpha and type W A L. Okay, I'll click enter and now I'll measure that point okay now this is the coordinate of my point 5 okay similarly I can do for other requirement as well now for setting out or layout I'll go to F3 now for, for this we need to first set up a station uh, now I'll connect with my pre previously set station so I'll go to Nepal and select Okay, I need to set a station for this point. I'll pick up from the list I have created before. Okay. You can do it like this as well if you have previously created a station. Else you need to set up or input all the requirement and complete your station setup. Okay. Now I am typing. The coordinate of my required or design coordinate provided by client. Okay.
okay now this is it now angle and distance is short okay now i need to turn to 21 degree 48 minute okay now i'm rotating my device okay now it's within range okay okay this is okay now uh, from this uh, angle i need to go um, the uh, given required distance ahead okay now you can see but uh, i still need to go ahead okay i'll go to next point i'll again go to layout and uh, i'll go for my previously recorded data okay i'll select in there yes i want to let's take out this point okay you can see uh, distance and angle is shown okay i'll go to first i'll go to angle and i'll set angle to tentative zero and then second i'll go to um, distance okay now first i will set angle to tentative zero and then uh, by pacing or by measuring with tape i will go to tentative uh, required distance and then measure that point okay now you can see my point is tentative uh, accurate to the point required point okay now again i can go to next point like this like this you can um, do stake out as well now on the next page there is memory manager you can see file status there as well okay you can see total measure data and coordinate data and measure data and coordinate data of uh, currently set station both details can be seen okay now if i press pages we can see other details as well on our page 3 there is file transfer option there are two option cable and usb option uh, you can download as per your requirement i can i'll show you uh, this on next video okay thank you for watching my video um, see you on next video thank you